What's going on guys, Ryan with Jedi Patrol, back with another video today. You know it, we've got Anakin with the staff from Hot Toys. Let's unbox it. That's right guys, we are back. Another video. I am super excited for this one because, well, it's Star Wars, number one. Number two is Clone Wars. Number three, it is the greatest villain in all of film history well pre it's a pre-villain it's a pre-villain it's anakin right and uh, i'm super excited so i did get the stap version so i did get anakin and the stap you can get anakin by itself if you don't want the stap i figured what the hell uh, it'd be kind of fun uh and i did get mine from pop collectible so if you want and you you don't want to get one today or you want to get one shipped very soon first or second batch figures from them uh check them out in the description below is the discount code for you as well they have all kinds of stuff. If you want licensed stuff like this, you want third-party stuff, they got all kinds of cool stuff on there. Um, but I am, uh, I'm super excited for this one. And uh, it's a large box. If you have the, um, the speeder bike, the scout trooper and the speeder bike, it's a similar size box. It's very large. I mean, it's, it's, it's like two, I'd say about two Hot Toys boxes wide. Uh, and so it's, it's obviously a tall figure because the staff is very tall. Uh, and I am just, I just, I'm excited about this. So what I want to know before we even get into the unboxing and the showcase and the posing and all that kind of fun stuff, have you ordered it? Just go ahead in the comment section down below. Have you already ordered this? Are you waiting on it? Or, or, or are you waiting on reviews to make a decision? And if so, the last part, let me know what your thoughts are after you've seen this video. So let's get into the unboxing. As far as accessories go, we actually get a decent amount. You're going to get a display stand. So this is right here. It says Anakin Skywalker right there. there. Nicely done. This is more of an, it's got like an orangish hue to it. Some of the other ones are more blue. So this is a warmer color, but it's the exact same mold, just slightly different color. Yeah, whatever. There you go. Get a crotch grabber. You're going to get a blade. I'm just going to zoom in on some of these things. Uh, you're going to get a, uh, a lightsaber hilt with a ignited blade and you're gonna have the little swooshing thing these are uh you know i i like these i've grown to like these um, but these aren't as saturated if you can see right here in the light they're fairly transparent i would like to see a little bit more saturation of color on there that would have been nice but it is what it is uh for anybody who is new to star wars hot toys collecting this is a feature that you want to leave in the box and never ever ever use Number one, it's a pain to change. Number two, you got to put a battery in here. Number three, uh, they'll last you about five seconds before the batteries die, and then you've wasted all that time and aggravation. Leave this in the box. Hot Toys quickening us, giving us uh, crappy pieces like that. We do have some holograms, so we'll get the hologram emitter, which we've seen, if I can pick it up, actually, which we've seen a number of times. It's the same one we saw with Qui-Gon and Ahsoka, so nothing new there. It's nicely done. And you're going to get three holograms. You're going to get a Yoda, you're going to get an Ahsoka, and we're going to get an Obi-Wan. So those are the three you're going to get. You're going to get some droid poppers. Everybody's seen these. If you've got a clone trooper, you've got droid poppers, you're going to get two. You've got a full one, and you get a half one that's being used. You're going to get some switch out armor plates uh, for when we switch out to either the poncho look or even the uh, cloak uh, look. You got the Jedi Order here and just a normal here, attached with a Velcro, thankfully. Good job, Hot Toys on Velcro. And then we're going to get a number of hands. So you got some Force Gesturing hands. Uh, you got a right Force Gesturing hand. You get a left Force Gesturing hand. You're going to get a couple hands here for holding sabers. And you're going to get a couple hands for Stap. So there you go. Those are handlebar hands right here. So a lot of stuff. You're going to get this guy right here, which is his switch out. So you literally just pop the head off. Put this on its Velcro attachment right there. And nice weight. This has some nice, nice weight to it. There's no wires in it, which is a tad unfortunate, but you know, we're going to play some tricks with that. If we get the posing and we need to, then we will add a wire. And then we're going to get a poncho. That also may be a pretty good look. So that's everything that comes with it. Let's move on to the figure. All right, let's talk about Anakin figure itself, because honestly, it looks pretty stinking good. And I've got it here. I just want to show you like the difference in colorations between him and then we've got light side Anakin right here. The colorations are vastly different. Obviously the hair sculpts are different, but the head sculpt, the head itself, the paint applications, the head sculpt, everything pretty much exactly the same. Maybe a slight variation in coloring, but overall pretty similar. But as far as what's going to stand out on the shelf, I mean, you decide for yourself. 
it, it's it's going to be pretty easy for this guy to you know pop out. And I got to be honest with you, I kind of like this hair style a little bit better. I think I think I do, especially when it comes to posing, because this guy right here uh, with the longer hair in the back kind of pokes into the back of the fabric here. Whereas this one, it's going to, well, it's going to hit armor. I guess it's the same difference. I don't know. Either way, I kind of like this one. Uh, but head sculpts wise, pretty much exactly the same. Uh, as far as coloration, you guys can see it for yourself. Uh, we'll kind of zoom in here a little bit. The the reds and the or the maroons, I guess if you will, and then the blues, and then the contrast stitching down the uh, the tunic here with the wires. I mean, come on, it's gonna be it's gonna be fun posing this and also frustrating to get it get you know get that right. You can see like the the pleather material on the belt is a high gloss. You got some nice little buckles here. You got some attachments here, and then again here on the uh, gauntlets, you got some nice. I would say chrome, but definitely metallic paint going on right here with these buckles. I mean, it's very, very well done. You got some little pockets and satchel stuff going on here. Velcro belt. And you can see, again, on this side, you get the same thing. As far as the armor goes, I mean, you can see for yourself, it's very nicely done. It's like a dark, dark gunmetal. And you can see how the light's bouncing off of it. So it's got a nice little metallic sheen to it, nice appearance to it. And then we go down to the shoulder armor on his left. He's got his uh, Jedi Order and on his right, just a, a normal piece of uh, armor, which those are uh, Velcro, so you can switch those out uh, when we go to change up the uh, the tunic in a little bit. Uh, we'll deal with that. Head sculpt wise, we'll kind of back up for this for just a second. It's quite fantastic. I mean, the previous figures were good. This one's just as good. And like I said earlier, I think I like this hair a little better. It's nicely painted. It's got, some nice, got all the Anakin waves in it. It's, uh, yeah, I think they did a good job with that. So that's a personal preference. You can kind of decide which one you like. Uh, I like that he's looking straight ahead. He's not looking off the left or right. That's always good for posing for me. And then down here on the boot, look at this. This is a totally different style of boot uh, than we saw with the previous Anakin, which if I zoom out, I will show you the other Anakin boot real quick like, but you can see the difference, right? So definitely a totally different style of boot. This one, I mean, you can see how it's catching the light. It's darker color, so darker brown, like an espresso brown, I guess, if you will. Uh, still a single piece. There's no split there, which is kind of, well, not kind of, it, it's flipping annoying. Got some nice tread going on the bottom. Overall, very, very cool piece. As far as uh, range of motion goes, you know we're going to get to having some fun posing this guy, but you got a double bend on the elbow. You got a double bend on the knee. Uh, torso wise, it's there's some padding going on in, in the torso region. So we're going to have to finagle that with uh, when we get to, you know, having some twist in it. It's fairly, it's fairly tight, but I think we work with it. We can get some decent crunch out of it. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's nothing crazy. Uh, it's mainly going to happen in the lower region. Uh, so we're going to have to have some fun with that. The arms, on the other hand, look at that. That's pretty nice. It's not bad at all. So that's what he looks like. I figure it's time to take a look at the stap. All right, so there's no other word for this other than freaking huge. It's huge, and it's amazing. This blue, dude, it is glorious. The different shades they've got going on here with, like, the silver wash and the, uh, the shadows going on, the darker blue, the lighter blue, the whites. And then you go down here to this like gunmetal deal going on down here. And even with the washes, I mean, look at the under, look at the underneath of this thing. Look at all this detail they gave us. Dude, this is freaking awesome. All right, interesting thing about this, the batteries are not the little, they are the little garbage batteries, but they're larger. They're the larger batteries. They're held in the compartment right here, which is just a magnet right here. There's a switch. They turn on, and you can actually see them even in this bright light. They're fairly bright. I dig those. We're definitely going to use those. I'm not going to kill them now. I'm going to save that for the posing session if we can get use out of that. Uh, we got feet here, which uh, don't appear to really have any mobility. So I, I, we want to be careful with that because I can see that being a point of uh, breaking. The other point of breaking I can definitely see are going to be the handles. And when you get this thing out of the box, you're going to see it posed just like this. However, there is some range of motion in the neck area. So let's see if I can do this safely. Uh, it just kind of goes like this. You can see there's a pivot point right here. And you can kind of, let's see here. I'm trying to do this without breaking it because, you know, we don't want to do that. Probably right there we go. So there's a pivot point in here. 
and you can have it go however you like. Now, should go like that. However, for different posing options, you might want to have it lean forward. Uh, and one thing I can already tell you that's going to be a fragile part of this particular piece is going to be the handlebar. Specifically, this section right here, this little, little, like, I guess, break, if you will. I don't really know what it is. It's animated. Uh, but this, uh, this tiny little plastic part right here, uh, which would be either, I I'm going to assume it's the break, but your hands, the uh, figure's hands go over that. And I can already tell you after just messing around with this for just a minute, um, I could see that being a super fragile point. Even though we have hands designed specifically for this, that right there, you want to be careful with that. Now there is one more range of motion, which actually is included in the base right here with the squircle or the peg. You can kind of see this right here, uh, right here. Th this smaller circle here actually rotates. It's, it's somewhat of a ball joint. It's not crazy articulated, uh, but I will show you that. So if we can get the step right here, we'll peg it in. Bear with me one second. I'm going to peg it in pretty well. I'm going to go sideways. And then right here, we can have some range of motion. Now, what I would recommend you do is definitely maneuver it from here. Don't maneuver it from here or else you're going to have a very bad day. And the other thing I'm a little concerned with, so I'll kind of, kind of, kind of rotates to the side one way there. You can see right there. The one thing I am concerned with, with the, kind of messing with this thing a little bit, I, I feel like if you overdo that particular uh, mo uh, movement, I feel like you're going to have an area Look at that, that's crazy. I feel like you're gonna have an area where it, it will get loose over time. Now this is something completely new. So I'm just basing this of, of other plastic joints, if you will. Uh, but I feel like this would go loose over time. So I don't think this is something you wanna overdo uh, because if that gets loose, this thing's gonna start falling over and you're gonna have a big problem. Although I think, again, look at this thing. Absolutely, absolutely glorious step. So I'm not sure there's a fantastic way to showcase this, uh, you know, vehicle and Anakin on the step. Uh, but this is just my take on just, just having some fun for just a minute. Uh, so we've got Anakin on the step. I do have the front end of the, the, the top, the head, if you will, lean down a little bit. Uh, so he can balance a little bit better on there. Uh, if you have him, if I, if I had to add straight perpendicular to the ground, then his arms would be real. Anyways, posing purposes, posing decision. That's what I did. I added Rex in there and we added the Genosis Battle Droid down below just for um, comedic effect to have some fun with this thing. But as you can see, you can create some pretty awesome, awesome uh, display options with this guy. So we'll kind of poke around here and zoom in for a little bit. Uh, as you can see, Anakin just kind of looking all kinds of awesome up there. And is this my favorite Anakin so far? Yeah, I think so. Look at that. Tell me that doesn't look flipping brilliant down there. We got this, got this battle droid getting beat up on, and then we also have uh, there's the step, and then we've got Captain Rex as he kind of comes across as well, looking all kinds of awesome. Uh, love the new boot design they used. I love the blue. I love the the wires they put in the tunic, and I really, really, really like the colors um, that they use for uh, this particular figure. And look at this step. I don't even have the lights on, but you know it looks flipping amazing regardless. Uh, big fan of this. And but you want to pay attention to those handlebars. I think I brought that up earlier. Uh, be careful. The best way is to put the hand that holds the handles on the on the on the vehicle, and then attach the figure wrist peg to the the hand. So you, you know you don't want to be breaking things. Uh, but you can see right there, uh, this thing is just all kinds of gorgeous. And I don't know what else we can come up with for this CI to uh, showcase it, but I guess we're gonna have to find out. Look how tall this thing is, holy cow. And just because I felt like having a little fun, here is the Geonosis Battle Troids on the step with a little a little Titanic moment, if you will. I guess if you will, <laughs> we've got a little, uh, we've got, we got a we got a battle droid going, going for a ride. I think that's fun as hell. Look at that. This might be how I display mine, honestly, because that's just too flipping funny. And uh, yeah, <laughs> so I do have the uh, I do have the light up functions on on the step, and hopefully they don't die before. Uh, yeah, you can see them right there on the bottom. The orange, I love the orange with the blue paint. I mean, classic complimentary colors. Looks flipping fantastic. I mean, look at these guys. They're living life, man. They're having a good time.
That's just stinking cool. And this is why I love battle. This is why I need like four gazillion battle droids because they're so flipping fun and they can do whatever you want to do. So hope you guys like that one. Leave a like uh, on the video if you haven't already, just because of that. So we've got Anakin here off of the staff. Actually, you probably see staff way in the background with the battle droids on it because I honestly think I'm probably going to leave it that way. But if you're not getting the staff, you know, what are the pose options for your Anakin? I think this is definitely one of them. So we've got him as he's just finished a move with the saber, with the swooshing blade, which I think looks awesome. The head sculpt, he's looking down. On his left hand, he's got a little force gesturing hand as if he's like stabilizing himself. And then on the lower half of the figure, we've got, well, there's not a whole lot going on down there because as we know uh, from earlier, there, there's no, uh, it's a single boot, which sucks. So I'm cheating, all right, so I'm cheating, but that's okay, you're allowed to cheat sometime. Look at this figure. It's absolutely fan freaking tastic. So, until the sideshow animated Clone Wars figure comes out, and that definitely has the potential, if they do it well, that has the potential to be my favorite Anakin in the collection. Until that one comes out, uh, this one takes the cake. This one is absolutely fantastic. It looks, um, obviously, it doesn't look, it came off the animated screen. Um, and it's not really supposed to, I guess. Um, but look at the colors. Man, that's good looking. So I'm just having fun. Obviously, we're going to have a couple more poses because uh, it's Clone Wars. And we're going to have fun with this thing. So somebody in the Facebook group and the Death Star, the Patreon group. By the way, if you want to support the channel, check it out on patreon.com slash Jedi Patrol. That would be awesome. Uh, monthly giveaways, special groups, Zoom meetups, and just behind the scenes stuff. It's uh, a lot of fun and um, it's a good place to be. So uh, shameless plug. Somebody in the group said, are we going to get an epic battle scene with Anakin? So not one to disappoint. Not one to turn down a request of something so awesome. Let's have some fun. All right. Anakin is uh, in the midst of a battle. Question is, who is he fighting? Obviously, Kenobi is right here by his side uh, because, you know, they kind of go together. Um, I think they look really good together, honestly. And then over here in the back, we got some, some 501st troopers, which are actually 332nd troopers, uh, because I didn't feel like digging through the storage and getting their helmets. Uh, but there they go. They're probably not screen accurate. Uh, but there's Obi-Wan. There's Anakin over there. And then who we've got? Oh, well, we got Rex. We got Rex right here. They're looking at something. The question is, I mean, they're all looking in a similar direction. What the, what the hell are they looking at? There's Rex. We got Rex down here, and we've got up. Oh, we've got a down. We got a down five of first. He's having a bad day. Uh, not things are not going well for him. And then of course we've got. Oh, you know we got. We got Snips. Snips is in the house. Who are they fighting? Bum 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 bum. It's Grievous. I actually broke out General Grievous to pose. I know, complete nightmare, but I did it anyways. And uh, here's here's kind of what the scene looks like. If you guys are curious about the whole flipping thing, there it is. So we got Anakin in the background. We've got Kenobi. We got some some uh, five hundred first or the three thirty second. We got a Captain Rex. We got a five hundred first down. We got Snips. We got Rex. Oh, I thought he said Rex. And then we got General Grievous, which um, I was going to have him like raise his arms with the sabers because he's holding some sabers. But you guys know how that goes. Um, it, he won't do that because uh, Sideshow sucks at this figure. So we're really hoping they do way better on the uh, Obi-Wan and Anakin and the Yoda from uh, the Clone Wars. We're hoping to really really, really nail that set because I think it's going to be super awesome. Now, you might not have room for this kind of stuff. Uh, this actually doesn't take up that much room, but if you have like a coffee table or something, it'd be a cool display. Um, I would like to include a lot more stuff in here, but I still have a couple other looks though. We still got to break out the cloak, uh, the kind of the pre-Vader look for Anakin. We've got a poncho to deal with. We've got some other poses to do, so let's get to that. So we've got the cloak on him, I guess. If we, this is the pre-Vader look. It's very Vader-like. He's got the cloak in the background. It is a dark brown. It matches absolutely nothing on the character other than the boots and the belt. Like it's if if he was going to fashion school, that would I feel like that would be a fail. Um, but there you go. Uh, I didn't dress him. Somebody else did. So we've got the uh, we've got the cloak on there. We got Rex. We got Ahsoka here. And this is kind of 
This is kind of where I'm leaning towards posing my particular Vader. Um, the poncho look, probably something I'll never use. It, it just, I wouldn't use it. I just wouldn't use it. I'm glad they included it. I don't see me using it. Not even going to bother with it. Um, this or something strong or even the previous fight pose, something like that, I might be leaning towards uh, for my own personal collection. But uh, I do like this kind of like walking, walking mid pose here, saber back, a uh, little force gesture. I'm, I'm, it's, more, it's not really a force gesture, it's more of a walking hand going right there. And the head sculpt is beautiful. Uh, Soka looks great. Rex, I mean, Rex, oh, when does Rex ever not look good? Honestly, Rex is just freaking awesome. Um, but uh, Anakin right here is just, you know. Somebody's gonna say, "Well, I've got the uh, I've got the dark side Anakin, and that's the Grail Anakin, and I don't need any other ones." And by all means, let me zoom back up here. Uh, by all means, it's your collection. You do what you like. Um, for me, I'm glad I have all of them, but the one that's gonna stand out on the shelf is gonna be this guy. He is gonna be the one that pops on the shelf. He's gonna be the one that uh, draws your eye when you walk in your room, and um, yeah. So there's, there's that. I don't know. You guys can let me know in the comment section down below if you want to pick one of these up for yourself. Obviously, uh, you can check out Pop Collectibles. They've got these in stock, whether you want the regular version of Anakin alone or if you want the deluxe with the stap, whichever version you want, they've got both. Uh, discount code for you down there as well if you don't feel like waiting on whoever. Uh, so definitely check them out as well as the newly released Miles Morales. They have that as well. And I'll have a video coming out on the soon as soon as mine gets delivered and some other Pretty cool stuff coming up on the channel, so stay tuned for that. Uh, let me know your thoughts on whether you're not going to buy, whether you're going to buy the Anakin himself or Anakin and the stat. I would love to hear that one. And let me know your thoughts on the best Anakin. Yeah, let's do that. As always, click what you like. See you next time.